For the second time, I crashed the drone. Hello guys, welcome again to Easy Media YouTube channel. This video is not about how the drone got crashed, but how to actually repair the drone because um, as you see on the screen there, these were the errors that came up. So first the navigation system error, then the gimbal stock, no GPS signal and uh, a lot of other issues. So what you see previously after the drone crashed was the total damage done to the drone and as you see here I tried to mend the, the, the cover so I used the Gorilla Glue to glue up the broken part just like you see on the screen there on the table when the drone crashed it was broken off so I used the Gorilla Glue to glue that up then it was fine but the the hole in the top was so visible that I didn't want to keep the case so I went ahead to get a new uh, body shell for the Mini 2 and I'm just gonna leave a link in the description below so you know how to get the, the body parts that you need whenever you have a crash like this so let's get to work so you're gonna need your screwdriver and the, the prying tools just like you see on the screen the propeller was broken and damaged if you look there one is broken up so first and foremost you take out the propellers the next step what you're gonna do next is take out the four screws at the bottom just like you see on the screen after taking out the screws then you need a prying tool to uh, remove the top case so the most important thing that you should know here is that all those parts there are changeable all the marked part there for this uh, repair I'm gonna change the the gimbal flex the GPS module which is also faulty and also the rubbers holding the gimbal so from this point you just follow the steps I'm taking while I am unscrewing and removing every part in this mini 2 and changing to the to the new body shell so sit back watch all the steps and I'll be coming back at the interval to just point out some things to you about it this is the GPS module that is uh, broken when removing the gimbal flex you need to take out the two tiny screws at the top holding the flex to the gimbal so for this repair because the gimbal flex was really damaged that's why you get the gimbal stock error and what you need to do is you have to replace the flex then in order to remove the bottom uh, case you need to take out the screws just like you see on the screen there take them out first don't force the bottom plate out and you just prime it out a little So in order to remove the gimbal flex and the other gimbal cable you will need to take out the bottom plate which you require to unscrew three screws just like you see right now then you'll be able to see how the two cables they are connected to the bottom plate you just pry it out and you remove from the top In doing this take your time don't rush take everything nice and slow so you don't damage anything so due to the impact that the drone fell the gimbal rubber was slacked just like you see there it's pretty slacked all the rubber so it's not gonna have a serious impact on the gimbal but it's gonna cause some uh, slight um, movement on the gimbal when you're flying so you're gonna notice some glue that was put on the on the cables the flex cables take your time to just uh, pinch them out you can use a tweezer to remove that or you use the, the tip of the screwdrivers to just pull that off 
so here you're gonna need a heat blower to apply some heat in this so you can actually remove the the black uh, tape that is holding the plate be below i used the screwdrivers and the and the prime tool to do mine it's pretty rough but it does the job anyways you're gonna need a soldering iron to unsolder the wires on the escape board and here is the the top cover which i got from aliexpress that's the old that was broken and this is the new one uh, again i'm leaving a link on the description below this is the body case and the price is all day on the screen there you can actually get them for very cheap so again i'm gonna leave that on the link in the description below there you have the three in one ribbon cable and you see how damaged it is from the impact so you can imagine that the flex cable was actually what saved the gimbal from breaking in order to unsolder the wires from the escape board you're gonna need a soldering equipment like this to make sure you uh, remove the wires properly from the escape board and I got these two repair kits from Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below also. gonna need to know exactly or mark where you take the wires from the blue the black and the white to know exactly where they uh, also that from so when you're soldering them back it's gonna be very easy for you so next will be the arms and you just have to unscrew the arms and take them out it's pretty easy now that you unsolder the wires so when you take out the arms you can easily just slide them through the the various holes that you put them through and putting them back it's very easy also you just slide them back one very difficulty you're gonna get the the back arm it's pretty easy but the front ones are pretty difficult so you have to be careful on how to snap them back in their various position i'm going to do another video because this video is going to take too long i'm going to do another video on how you can actually put take out the front arms and put them back properly so there you have the old case it's done and this is the new case i've put back the wires because the video again because the video is going to take too long i just had to skip that part and put back the wires and i'm just going to show you how to put back the back arm which you see right now on the screen so because the new body shell is not going to have the stickers that came with the original you need to just peel them out you can use a heat gun to just heat them up a little and peel them and transfer them to the new body shell so again uh, in putting back every other piece you just remember that the wires have to go back to their various position that they were before and it's pretty easy from here so follow up this step from here and I'll see you at the end
Don't forget to put the gimbal flex cable before you cover the bottom plate and here you have the, the flex cable again the link is in the description below just like you see on the screen so at this time I ordered the gimbal rubber which hasn't come so I'm just gonna put back the old rubber for now when the rubber comes I'm gonna continue Be careful not to wipe out the blue grease at the back of the plate. So again about the GPS module, I did a video for the GPS module replacement. In the previous video, I talked about how to replace the GPS module. So here as you see the impact that I had from the crash, the steel plate at the bottom fell off. So as you see in the new one, the plate is still intact, which is very, very fine. So today I received the rubber for the gimbal so I'm going to continue the video because I posted from the last time which I said earlier and now we're going to continue the repair. So I'm going to show you how bad the rubber have slacked and you see the, the gimbal is shifted to the back because the rubber is not able to hold it properly well. So I'm we're just going to take this off and replace with the new one. There you have the differences with the old and the new. You see how badly eaten up the old one is and the new one has to just go in right now. So make sure the rubber is properly uh, placed so the gimbal looks fine now you see everything looks sturdy. The gimbal seems to be very okay now. So finally we have to put the case which is the last thing to do right now. Uh, don't forget to take out the copper tape on the previous uh, top case. 
and put in the new case so you you just snap the case back into the body and finally you just gonna finish up by putting back the four screws at the bottom So there you have it the drone is back to life <laughs> it's pretty awesome how you can actually fix this when you know that you're gonna be charged a lot of money if you take it to a repair and there you go I'm just gonna test and see how effective everything is yeah so the drone is back to life I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you guys and see you guys in the next video